Ayan. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Daily Grind. We're back. Pasensya na po wala ako kahapon. Uh, had something very important to attend to. Ayan. And medyo late tayo ngayon kasi nag-iba si YouTube. Eh. Um, uh, YouTube made, uh, what do you call this, changes sa platform nila. So medyo hindi ko kontrolado yung live. Still getting the hang of it. Uh, today is March 26. Uh, it's my mother's birthday. So happy birthday to my beautiful mother. And so Miss Dolores Bazar. And so good morning. Uh happy birthday. And um today, and pag-usapan natin ngayon, um PSEI yesterday dropped a lot. A lot in pagsak ni PSEI yesterday. What was the cause of it? Um uh, medyo nag bounce to 7,800. And it closed at 7863. Very big drop drop um from PSEI um amidst the recession fears. Uh, may nagtanong sa akin kahapon, Sir Lord, ano sa tingin niyo mayayari? Uh, what do we do be- um due to the recession fears? And so my uh we'll gonna we're gonna be talking about that in a while. Uh, we'll our talk will start at around 8:40 in the morning. That is uh that is around 20 to 25 minutes onwards the video. Uh first up I'm gonna be reading the comments. If you're watching the replay of the video, please move forward to around 20 minutes of the video para po mapuntahan niyo yung ano, yung what do you call that? Um you start a discussion kagad. Yan. So, Joe Ligaras, good morning. Sir Lloyd and Larka, good morning then. Jing Martinez, good morning. Ranulfo first, my bunta Coach Lloyd and Larka, good morning then. Makian, um, Tad, uh, good morning. Joy, morning. Red Sea Market yesterday, BLL and ATN po. Please, so nga pala, guys, uh, if you wanna, uh, if you have requests na pwede natin gusto nyo i-chart, don't uh, hesitate to put it on the comment session. I'm gonna be reading that as long as may oras po, po tayo. So, yung mga natitirang oras natin, we're gonna be doing um, chart uh, charting. Kung may mga, may mga napupusuan kayo, tignan natin, tulungan ko po kayo kung may nababasa ako. Parang manguhula, eh, no? So, <laughs> yan. Um, tignan lang natin. Dave Guapodades. Anyo nga sayo, Sir Lloyd, and to your family, always watching with my wife, Bunsok. Dek, Dek. Dave Guapodades. Uh, good morning to your family. Dek, Dek. Good morning. Excuse me. Uh, for like, uh, good morning, sir. Medyo payat na naman ako kasi um, international market. Uh, yesterday, I flattened out my port. Binenta ko lang si oil. Uh, and then, uh, I entered um, UK 100. So, we are at ME 20 bounce. Na green to kaha- kagabi. Kaya, bin- uh, pinasok ko na lang. So, I think with this doji right here, not really a perfect doji, but... Um, Price action wise, it's doing well. So, pinasa ko na aggressively since overall mura pa rin naman si UK 100 and kaka Bollinger Band trigger lang natin. It did a breakout at this level right here. So, we are around that level. So, tingnan nyo po. Um, asa mo yan? Um, tools line. Yan. So, palitan ko lang yung linya. Kulay green. So, this was the breakout level. This is the major resistance right here. And so, oops. And so, na. so yesterday, I was, I was waiting for it to bounce at this level right here. We have and uh, we have uh, at the resistance, major resistance. Then breakout si dito asala hindi nag sustain, and then it did the breakout again. So that was the major resistance that we were, uh, we were, uh, no, we were, uh, what they call this, uh, looking at. We have a cup and handle pattern and then there's the breakout right there so we're waiting for the uh bounce actually from that resistance and then there it is um nag bounce kahapon per action is wise so tinesting ko na right i entered already so yun um, most probably lahat ng mga nag copy trade sa akin nakapasok na na umpisa um my dashboard so we have around 146,000 dollars magkano po yan um 140k Funds calculator 146 times 52. So we have around 7.5 million funds under me. So, yan, um, if you haven't um, copy traded yet, yan po, uh, wag yung po sa I can be your 
uh, what you call this, your fund manager, um, open an eToro account using my link. Yan po ang hiling ko lang <laughs> sa inyo. Use my link para po um, mapunta po sa akin yung referral. That's gonna be a very big help sa channel para makatulong po na mag-continue ang channel. Um, if you didn't create the account under my link, please send me a message kasi po para makorek po ng eToro. Send tayo ng request sa kanila para i-under po sa akin. Sayang naman po yung referral. Right? Kisa sa hangin lang mapunta. Right? Bigyan nyo lang po sa akin. Send me a message, okay? Um, um, we'll talk more about that later on. Let's go back to the, ano, the comments. Sleep not. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Maria Cristina. John Salaz Jean Salazar. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Insights po kay GMA7. Constricted ang ban kasi anong price ko po siya dapat bilhin, sir? Baka mag-breakout siya in the next days. Presensya na puyatan sa international market. Ayan po. Nakita nyo po. It's a very large amount under my name already. So, almost 8 million pesos po yung na-handle ko ngayon na funds. Um, di po basta-basta yan. Pera ng mga Pilipino yan. Pinaghirapan nila yan. So, uh, kahit puyatan po, uh, we are gonna be handling that as be the best that we can. Uh, Jimmy7 from Maria Cristina. Uh, we'll talk about that in a while. King Bakay. Good morning, coach. Um, pasilip po na naman po kay X. Green P A at D. And so, um, let's check these out. Uh, Nanette Mill, good morning. Mac, Dev. Uh, uh, oops, bumagsak bigla yung comments. So, let me just go back up. Mac, Dev, BDO, and JFC. Yung ganda ng volume yung JFC yesterday. Ah. Something uh, we need to look at. Kaso nga lang, um, medyo mataas na si JFC. I don't really you wanna enter at those uh, positions na nasa taas. So, I really can't tell. Pero the volume says otherwise. So, maybe. Most probably, it's gonna go up. But, not for me. Uh, so, yan. Dave, uh, insights po kay C. Mer AC. Thanks, right? Let's write these down, Dave. Patdaanan natin mamaya. And Hops, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Chart request po sana. IRC, MPI, and PHA. Thanks. All right. So, let's check these out also. All right. On the net mail, AEV. All right. That down. AEV. And Monet naman, Lagman. Uh, good morning. Read an article. Di naman daw recession, although U.S. market is slowing down. Yes, um, hindi naman siya recession. It's just the fear of recession. We'll talk more about that later on, Monet. So, uh, fears lang naman. Rumors lang naman. Hindi pa naman siya recession ngayon. But yeah, totoo. U.S. market is slowing down, especially because of the fears. Right? So, natatakot ang mga tao. So, um, labas muna ako sa U.S. market. If you, if you saw, ang pinasukan ko na um, pinasukan ko na index. This is called index, right? UK 100. These are called indices. Indices, right? Mga index pa yung pinapasukan ko. Um, si UK 100. Si UK kasi medyo nasa baba, mababa pa yung ano niya. Um, yung index niya. Si US medyo nasa gitna na ng support resistance. So, really hard to tell right now. We don't know if it's gonna go up. We don't know if it's gonna go down. So, stay away muna ako ng US indexes and US stocks amid the fears. Tignan ko po paano mag-react ang market in the next following weeks. Pag wala naman, then uh, mag-charting na naman tayo sa US markets. Um, but yeah, those are things you need to consider also in trading. So, kaya po, um, these are the times you don't have to be aggressive. So, there are times na pwede ka maging aggressive. These are the times that you shouldn't be aggressive. Right, let let the market do its thing and then let's see ano mangyayari. Anyway, traders naman tayo dito sa international market. Hindi naman tayo investors, investors, ba? So, hindi naman ako nag-i-invest dyan. So, short-term movements lang titignan ko. Hindi po yung mga long-term movements. Right, Romeo Marinas. Good morning, Sir Lloyd from KSA. Good morning sa inyo dyan, mga kapatid natin. OFWs from KSA. Uh, Romeo, especially to Romeo. King Bakay. Uh, Mike 16, morning Sir Lloyd and like a, um, good to have you back here on YouTube. Nag-open na po pala ako ng, uh, nag-open na po pala kayo ng new positions sa eToro. Let's get rich together. Yes po, nag-open na po ako ng bagong positions so everyone is with me again. So siguro mga next month na naman ako mag-flatten out para po makasabay naman ng maayos yung mga bagong nag -ano. So it's the best time to copy trade me. Uh, Kaka-open lang po ng position. It's still at negative 0.05. So, still very low loss lang naman. So, yan. Um, copy me now. Right? Sayang po yung possession, okay? Nanette Mill, have, happy birthday to your dear mom. Thank you so much, Nanette. Hops, um, sir, 
how real yung fear sa recession and how will it affect PSE? I, I was observing the market yesterday amidst the, ano, amidst the fear. So yun, bumagsak si PSE. Ay, laki ng bagsak because of that. So let's see what will happen further in the future. Um, we'll talk more about that in a bit. Um, Mike16, um, yun, Nanette Hops, right? So Elvi Aquino, somehow your message got retracted. So can you post it again? Coach, good morning. Sir, wanted to get your insights today on, uh, on my today's plan. SSI sell half and buy more on BPI. Let's check this out. Sige, unahin natin yan. Request mo na yan. Right, so SSI sell half BPI. Uh, Mike16, please extend our happy birthday greetings to your loving mom. Thanks, Eric. Thank you so much then. Our LV Aquino, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Hold pa po ba si Tel? Gain pa naman ako because nagbaya ko sa bandang baba kasi lapit, lapit po yung div niya. Right, so si LV. LV, nag-sell half ako ng Tel noong nagpula na siya. So right now, I'm just waiting for the levels to buy more. So basically, I think it's still gonna be it's still gonna be on an uptrend. We are seeing good price action naman. We're just waiting for the bounce. So basically, I'm holding my tell. Right, so nag-sell half ako lang. Right, just because I'm not really into dividends. Um, waiting to buy more. So I'm still holding on to it. So yeah, it's still okay to hold. Lexer Kalam Masa, good morning sir. Pacheck po ako ng IRC. Nasulatan natin yan. So we'll go through that in a while. Coach, two days kayo na wala sa YouTube. Two days? Um, It's a Tuesday today. So kahapon lang. Right? Uh, I siguro sa Friday, doon tayo sa Facebook. Andun ako sa Facebook nag live. Because I had to promote uh, an event dito sa Cebu. Uh, pala, uh, I still have tickets available. If you share the video kung dito kayo sa Cebu, please share the video. Right? Um, and then, hashtag nyo po ang Let's Get Rich Together. And then, you get a chance to win a ticket for the um, Passive Income Conference um, PIC event this March 30. I'll send you uh, send me a message para malaman ko po na, na share nyo na. And then, um, I'll, I'll send you a feedback if ever you want the tickets. Right? So, libre na lang yung tickets. That's a 800 peso ticket. I give it you for free. It's always, always wise to learn new things. And dun po ako, pupunta po ako. I'm not be a speaker. Um, guest lang po ako. So, I'll be there also. Mapanoorin ko po ano mga ano nila. So, baka may ma-share din ako sa inyo. Right? Uh, LV Aquino, ATN, Alco, MRC, ECP, Telpa, any insights? Masalamat po, Sir Lloyd. We'll go through these as best as we can. So, sulat lang po natin. 3D Print Twist. Good morning, Sir Lloyd. Nice to see you again. Sock, please. Right, so let's check it out. Ano po nangyari biglang yung ceiling? Those are things that we don't know. <laughs> ano nangyari kay Sok Kaapon? But definitely, wag nyo na pong hahabulin. Right, uh, that's for momentum trade. Tingnan natin kung mag-momentum pa siya niya ngayon. But we're not, oh, we're not momentum traders. I'm not inviting you to become momentum traders. Kasi pag momentum trader ka, meaning hindi mo na kailangan ng daily grind. So if you're watching the daily grind, most probably you're a newbie. So... <laughs> Hindi po kayo mang, I don't recommend you become a, what they call this, a momentum trader. So, position trader lang po tayo dito. Huwag na huwag po kayo maiingit sa mga nagaganon na stocks if you don't want to be ipit. <laughs> Ganun lang. So, let it go. Let's see in the future if it will give us an opportunity. If not, then wag po. Wag na wag na wag na wag. Arwan, Arman Tanglao, good morning, Sir Lloyd. Good morning, jo Jovi Tanel. Good morning, Sir Lloyd, ABG, and Tugs. All right, please. All right, so let's check these out. Um, the Tugs definitely still at buy levels for me. Napakamura pa rin ni Tugs um, as of the moment. So still recommending tags. I just continue buying on the dips right now. Burnstorm TV Gaming. Good morning, sir. Pacheck po ng SMC. Kamustahin natin si SMC. SMC. Alright, so Mary Grace Dalo. Alright, um... Pakicheck po si PIP and Vulcan. Alright, si Daniel Padilyang PIP. Alright, King Bakay, coach pabati naman. Kay Alfonso Bakay, birthday niya noong March 24, coach. Hey, happy birthday, Alfonso Bakay. Alright, belated happy birthday. So, good, um, good, uh, God bless you all po. Juvan Zar, good morning, sir. Good morning, Gilbert Velis, morning. Ani po, alright, si Ani is in still my recommendation. So, recommended Ani yesterday. Um, I'm gonna be recommending Ani again today. So, anjan po yung picks ko. 
right i'll let, i'll just um post my picks konti lang naman ang picks ko kasi pangit ng market kahapon so i'm just waiting for confirmations at tuloy mahanap ko ng mga low risk positions on my watch list today yung mga gusto kong stocks yan lang po makita ko mga buy signals today gilbert velez good morning um, melvin delarama um morning sir how about pxp um b core and vll kamusta natin sila all right ruben al coriza good morning sir Lloyd. Fen and SMPH. So, yung galing ni Fen. Umakakit pa rin si Fen. Eh. So, tignan natin sila mamaya. Time check. It's 8.36. So, we'll be starting in a bit. Kim Kaser. Oops, sorry. Um, bumagsak. Pikla ang comments. Um, Kim Kaser. Kaser. Pedraza. Good morning, sir. STI po. Alright, si STI. It's just a trading stock. Alright, kamustahin natin kung meron na ba tayong buy signal. But, hindi ko nasagap si STI ngayon. Agent Disaster, good morning sir. Pabati naman. Birthday ko ngayon. Right. Good morning. Happy happy birthday, Agent Disaster. Request ko po is FB. And so, tingnan natin si FB. Unahin natin si birthday boy, FB. Maka naman, ubusuhin nyo. Magsabihin nyo birthday nyo na lahat para mauna yung request ninyo. Huwag naman. Right. Luis Santiago, good morning sir Lloyd. Benta ko na si X. Lipat ako kay Holsim. Laki ng volume. All right, let's check out Holsim then. N O Y H L C M. Yeah, I say see Expo guys. It's just really for trading. We don't really know if it's gonna go up or not. Patrick Ilagan I S M and J F C. See I S M. Um, not recommended it yesterday, and today I will not be recommended it. Also, be recommending it also. I say we have a bounce. We are on a bounce, but we are on a. We have a support. Audi Fair ISM. Let's see what will happen in the future. If mag sustain your support. Pag nag sustain, yes, definitely. I'll be, re uh, I'll be recommending it again. Burnstone TV Gaming pa adin po si DMC. DMC is in my list for today. Number one yan. So, daan na natin. Tad, um, kumusta po si EEI? Nag pullback kasi. Um, a pullback is always normal, guys. Kaya ano yun na. Let, let the market do its thing. Wala tayong mga gawa dyan. Kung gusto ni market mag pullback, mag pullback talaga yan. So, we just have to, uh, uh, react accordingly. Alright, Joey P, sir. Uh, ask ko lang din po, pag credit card bang gamitin sa pag-fund ni Itoro, may bank charge po ba yun? Wala siyang bank charge. It's just basically, you, para ka lang bumili online. Right? Ganun po yung charge ni Bipa uh, ng credit card sa Itoro. Um, it's just that, it's it, uh, the, the rate depends on your bank's uh, exchange rate. So, depende po yun sa exchange rate ng bank nyo. Usually, medyo malaki, may kalakihan. Um, yun. Um, if ever, $500. So, usually, piso on differentiate, right? So, more or less, 500 pesos po yung charge. I, ca I consider that a charge kasi medyo mahal talaga yung exchange rate ng bank ko. So, yun po. Um, yun lang yung dapat nyo i-consider. Uh, the bank, uh, what they call this, how much your bank is char um, exchanging the money for. Alright, Dennis Rodriguez, good morning, sir. Pakicheck po ng ZHI, BHI, PHA. Salamat po. Alright, sa BHI, nirecommend ko kahapon. Hindi naman siya umakit. So, kasi, si Market, pulang-pula. Kamustahin natin sila. Alright, LTG from Al Ali Quicksilver. LTG. LTG. And then, siguro last two na lang. We'll start our discussion. Um, Marlo Baroro, my buntag, Sir Lloyd. Aba, pilihog, salamat. Alright, si Aba. Kamusta na si Aba? Alright, lumabas na ako kay Aba kasi before mag, ano eh, before mag, mag, uh, what you call this, mag, dividends. Ayan, um, Martin Samar, Maxis, um, mustay natin si Maxis. Erika Liwag, Sir. Why po sa lahat parang kay ISM ka pinaka nag-invest sa long term? Um, hindi po. <laughs> Actually, pinaka nag invest ako ng long term is andun po kay BDO, GFC, um, GFC, ATN, and po yung tatlong yan, uh, SMPH, yung apat. Si ISM, meron lang akong extra na cash, tapos linagay ko lang doon. Actually, yung ginawa ko kay ISM, kalahati po, um, I traded it kasi mababa naman ang napasok natin si ISM. Um, pumasok tayo noong mga nasa 2 pesos pa po moving towards 3 um, bought up again nung lumabas ang news so yung average ko medyo umakyat around 5 pesos so yun um, on the other half nung tumungtong tas siya ng 8 pesos I sold my half and then on the other half pinang ano ko na uh, pinang invest ko na right uh, I am investing still in ISM why? Because I believe in the projects. Um, tuloy naman ang third telco, so no problem with that. Uh, so, sure na, matutu third telco sila. So, right now, 
Um, I'm just gonna share to you my side. My basically, ang goal ko kay ISM is to reach a certain volume uh, while it is cheap, right? Volume po ang hinahanap ko. So, I, I cannot afford, hindi ko po ma-afford right now ang target na volume ko, which is, siguro, yeah, um, 500,000 to 1 million stocks. Yun po yung target na volume ko. Since I don't have the money in bulk right now, I am buying ISM on the dips before it starts uh, before it starts operating. I think kasi it will be good, right? This is just my bias, okay? Wala pa naman ito. No one, again, no one can predict the market. This is just my bias. I think the third telco project is gonna be successful, right? Pag nags, um, why? Number one is um, track record po ng, uh, ng, ng China Tel, which is their partner. I don't, uh, ang ganda po, hindi po baguhan yan sila. So they are, I think they're gonna be successful with the project. Number two, it's backed up by the government. The government is backing it up. So pag backed up ng government yan, um, lalagyan ng red carpet yan. So it's gonna be easy for, for them to uh, to operate talaga. So I think the, the business is gonna be successful. So I have my volume when the business officially starts. So dun po, kaya po nag invest ako sa kanila. If ever I'm mistaken at may bad news, may, I'm just gonna sell my stocks. Ganun lang. So it, it's a risky bet for me. Right? Hindi po siya investing talaga. But still on my tolerance level. And dun po yung plan ko eh. Right? So I'm planning the volume. So, it's not easy to get that much volume right away. Hindi naman bulto yung pera natin na andyan ka agad. So, every time it dips down, yeah, bumibili at bumibili lang ako. So, that when the time comes that it starts growing, I am at a very good volume. That's what I am after. That's what investors are af after actually. So, yun po. Kaya po, andyan ako. Yun po ang ginagawa ko sa ISM. Now, if, eto lang, uh, for this, kasi ang daming nag-ano uh, sa akin about this, eh, bakit ganito, bakit ganyan, right? I am only putting money I can afford. If ever, right, I can afford na matulog muna kay ISM, that is the purpose of my money there. If ever gusto nyo kumita ka agad, don't follow that strategy, right? Iba-iba naman tayo ng strategy. So, if you need money, kaagad sa pera ninyo, gusto nyo kumita kaagad, go to my recommendations. So, yun po yung mga mas mabilis ang um, mas mabilis ang tendency na umakyat. Right? So, it really depends on the purpose of your money. Uh, I've discussed this to many people already about, sir, magkano ba talaga ilalagay ko sa isang stock or magkano ilalagay ko sa stock market? Right? So, I always ask them in return. Um, first of all, naririnig nyo ito lagi, only put money you can afford to lose. What does that what does that really mean? I ask them in return. Anong purpose ng pera ninyo? Bakit nyo lalagay sa stock market? And they answer me, para retirement ko po sana. Do not gamble your retirement funds dito sa stock market. This is what many people are mistaken. Right? Huwag nyo po ilalagay sa stock market ang pera na pa retirement ninyo. Stock market is risky. Kaya nga tinatawag ng iba, gambling ito eh. So, um, your retirement funds ninyo, that's money you cannot afford to lose. Pag nawala yan, biglang nag-crash ang market, wala kayong retirement funds na, and magtatrabaho kayo kapag matanda na kayo, di ba? So, yun. Um, for example, gusto nyo magtayo ng bahay, kayo lalagay mo pera sa stock market. No, guys. Huwag, pag nag-crash ang market, nawala ang pera mo, wala kang bahay. <laughs> right? So, those are money you cannot afford to, uh, you cannot afford to lose. Yun po ibig sabihin yan talaga. So, um, start with on, um, ex, yung ganito eh, my simplest thought, eh, kasi yung mga tinuturuan ko ng mga kaibigan ko sa stock market, uh, magkano ba talaga ilalagay ko Lloyd? Ito, ganito. ba for example, may, pag may pera ka, may bonus ka, instead na ibili mo ng sapatos, cause that's okay kung, kung hindi ka makabili ng bagong sapatos, kasi pang luho lang naman, na, um, na purpose, that's what you put in stock market instead. Yan po ang pera na ilalagay niyo sa stock market. Well, po yung iniipon niyo para sa something very important. Right? So, a little side bit of the uh, explanation. Just to let people understand more what money is uh, dapat nilalagay niyo dito. If that's money you can uh, you cannot afford to lose, huwag niyo po lalagay sa stocks. Bilhin niyo po na insurance yan. Right? Kasi anytime soon, in the future, pwede niyo i-withdraw. Protected pa kayo at the same time while nilalagay niyo sa insurance. Ganun po, dapat. Right? Um... Joel Dudes, good morning coach, Pasilip CHB and CHP po, right, CEB and CHP last line ito. Right, so we'll start with the discussion PSEI. Yeah, and so PSEI, 
uh, big red yesterday. Bands at MA20 um, closed at 7.863. But this is a massive drop from PSEI. Um, tignan natin yung ano niya. And details, alright. So, it dropped negative 1.88%. Ang laki po niyan. That's 150 points. Um, what oh, If you're gonna ask me, bakit ganyan ang bagsak ni market? It's because of the recession fears. And dami kasing lumalabas ngayon na, um, na news uh, sa international market na si US are showing signs na magkaka-recession na. So, there's no recession yet, but there are fears of recession. Right? May fears po siya kasi nag-double tap si US market. Um, yun kasi yung signal noon before nagka-recession. Eh, diba? So, nagkaroon ng fear. Um, again, we cannot predict the market. I can't predict, I can't say na magka-recession nga or hindi, di ba? So, no one can predict the market. Excuse me muna. Ayusin ko yung camera. Up yun. Right, so, no one can predict the market. All you can do is react accordingly. So, right now, I'm still observing the market, the US market. Um, yeah, um, lumit nga ang volume because of the fear. That's, that's, that's a red flag. So, I don't want to be aggressive in the US market yet. I'm gonna let it, um, uh, move the next few days. Right. So, PSE naman, si PSEI bumagsak ng ganito. Kasi, right, um, di naman malaki ang volume ng selling. It's just that, wala, ka, wala tayong gaanong volume for the buying. Right. Um, net foreign buying is just 666 million. That's okay. Pero, kulang pa. Right. We still don't have the volume yet. Um, uh, medyo malaki lang yung selling. Um, yung, uh, yung market natin is really affected by foreign investors, di ba? So, pag walang investors, kasi natatakot ang mga investors, um, especially us that we're affected by foreign investors, um, kaya bumabagsak ang market. So, this is why PSA is dropping. Right. So, ano dapat gawin for this kind of market? I don't want you to guys to be aggressive, right? Um, be picky. Be extra picky on your picks, right? Huwag kayong maghahabol ng mga breakouts sa taas. As much as possible, uh, try to pick those stocks that have bottomed out already, right? Um, pag ganito ang market, guys, walang pakialam yan sa technical analysis. Walang pakialam ang, ang bearish na market sa fundamentals. Babagsak at babagsak yan. So, konting ingat sa market, right? We, I am observing the market. The next few days, tignan natin anong gagawin niya. So, isa pa lang naman ang pinapakita ni PSEI na pula. Let's see what will happen. If it shows us a lower high, then that will be a problem. Um, as of the moment, we don't have that um, enough data yet. So, we can't really tell. So, don't be, yun lang ang gusto ko sabihin sa inyo about PSEI. Don't be too aggressive, right? It's okay to still be, uh, stay invested anyways, even if bearish ang sentiments ng market. The stocks, I mean, the companies are doing well. So, you know that these companies, if the companies, as long as the companies are doing well, the stock is gonna go up again. So, if you're in a stock for investing at bumagsak, huwag ka matatakot. Right? First, if you're, for example, nasa SMPH ka and you're in it for long term, dapat hindi ka matatakot. Again, as I discussed with ISM kanina, your goal should be about volume. Get as many volume as you can before the market recovers. Right? Kasi, if you're, uh, yayaman ka, through volume, right? So, if ever the stock goes down, if ever PSEI goes down, then I'm gonna be very happy with my investing stocks kasi I can buy more, right? On my trading stocks, cut loss. If I lose, then that's what the market gave me. Uh, work with that lang, right? So, always cut your losses. Sa trading stocks ninyo, especially now, huwag po kayo mag mag magpapakamartir. If ever your cut loss is hit, get out, okay? So, yun po ang discussion natin sa PSEI. Don't be aggressive, and cut loss if needed and for your long-term stocks um i don't recommend na magbawas i really do not recommend na magbabawas lang especially if you're in it for investing it's um okay lang magbawas if ever nasa taas na kayo right if ever you're gaining you're at sell half pero kung naipit naman kayo na okay mag sell half kasi anytime soon it can bounce at nagsayang lang kayo ng pera it's not wise to sell uh, at a loss Right on your investing stocks. Dapat dun tay dun kay sa taas ng si sell. Right. Um. Yon. So that's for PSEI. I'm gonna go to my recommendations for today. But before we go to that, we wanna thank our sponsors, Two Trade Asia, Two Trade Asia dot com. Um. If you're looking for a broker, if nagahanap ka pa ng broker, check out Two Trade Asia. Very fast, reliable. Ganda ng support. Uh. Ng support nila. Right. Very very fast and reliable. Um. Ang kagandahan nito is may mobile app sila. So, if ever you're out, 
and kailangan mo mag-trade, kailangan mo bumili ng stock na nasa labas ka or kailangan mo magbenta kasi your your uh, stop loss is hit. Uh, so you can uh, you can always sell even if you're outside kasi may, because of the mobile app. So that's very convenient. Check out 23 Asia, 23 Asia.com. Um, also eToro, we're going to thank our sponsors eToro. Right. Um, if you don't you don't have an eToro account yet, please uh, go to my link at the video description. Meron po jang uh, create an eToro account with this link. Um, so eToro kasi magandahan nito is you can copy trade me. Um, copy trade meaning ako na po ang trade para sa inyo. All you need to do is click my name, search for my name, and then pag nahanap niyo na po, uh, click on copy trade. Put in an amount you want to put para po i-manage ko. Ako na po magta-trade para sa inyo dyan. Iwan yung lumbu yan. Ako na bahala. So, the, the, for March, our performance is running at 5.82. Uh, we've been positive for the past 4 months na. Hopefully, mag-continue. So, yung mga nag-copy trade sa akin since noon pa is already at a gain. So, that's good. Right? Um, if ever wala kayong oras to trade or wala kayong, you don't really know how to trade yet, while still you're learning, Huwag niyo po sasayangin yung opportunity that, that I can do the trades for you. You can study my trades if you want to. Pwede niyo po ako i-follow. Tingnan niyo po anong mga ginagawa ako. Bakit ako nag-trade ng ganito, ganyan. Right? So, this is my strategy. I'm implementing in the international market. And so far, so good. It's working. Right? Um, if you want to learn my strategy, I have a seminar this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, eight, uh, 9 in the morning. Send me a message if you want to join that. Um, but eToro, copy trade me, ako na po bahala mag-trade po para sa inyo. Para po, makatulog naman kayo, pero nyo lang po ilalagay and ako na po mag-trade yan. So, these are my statistics. Um, you can see my portfolio right here. Um, you can see my feed. If ever, meron akong mga pinopost. And I always post about my positions. Right? Uh, last night, just waiting for confirmation buying and we'll get, we'll be getting in. So, linalabas ko po dyan ano ang mga Gusto ko po um, ano ang possible na gagawin ko. At least it's transfer transparent. Right? So, makikita niyo po ang mga gusto ko mong gawin. So, we just close at to oil. Linabas ko na lang muna si oil kasi medyo uncertain yung position niya. So, yun. Um, portfolio. Ano pa ba? Um, trade markets. Copy people. Ayan. So, here we have 236 uh, copiers na po. 448% in la last 30 days. That just means parami po ng parami ang nag- uh, what they call this um uh para mi po ng para mi ang who uh naniniwala ayan ang hirap talaga magtagalog <laughs> naniniwala sa trading system natin so this is a proof and uh my performance should be a proof about the system uh this is what i am teaching you guys always right so around uh 7 to uh, 7.5 million na po ang funds na hinahandle natin and we're trading it every day 146k uh dollars Right, so and po um eToro again use my link lang po if you wanna create an account uh, that is gonna help me in return. If you love if you like what I am doing uh, as a channel, you can send out your support by giving uh, out uh, donations. Right, um show your support by clicking on the super chat button. Yan po yung palang dollar button sa chat room natin. So if you wanna uh, what do you call this? If you wanna donate to the channel, that will be greatly appreciated. Para po makatulong sa daily grind. Alright, so requ um, recommendations ko today. Let me post that again. Uh, DMC, RCB, Ani, uh, Mer on bounce. Si RCB hindi naman gaano fundamentally good yan. It's just that it's it has a very solid, uh, very solid base. So ang ganda po paglaruan. If ever I'm wrong, pwede nyo naman i-cut loss. So DMC, kaka-breakout lang po from this, what they call this. Uh, from this flag pattern right here. Alright, so that's a breakout. Use a breakout strategy. If ever bumagsak man, um, since this is our support, just, just cut loss uh, below that support for DMC. But definitely, very good price action and very good volume lately for DMC. So, pwede nyo po basukin yan. I'm recommending DMC for today. Um, RCB. and RCB naman. Ayan. So, we're still at the support levels. Good price action. Um, very big spike on the volume right here. Sayang, hindi ko nga napansin yan eh. So, kung napansin ko po yan, I would have recommended it right away. But yeah, we have good confirmations right here. Maliit pa naman ang risk. Or overall risk is, nope, not rate range, price range. Uh, if you use this support, uh, layo pa ng sub, uh, cut loss natin. So, our cut loss is here. 
So, medyo maliit talaga ang risk. So, our risk is around negative 4%. Like, give it around negative 4%. Pwede nga lapitan nyo pa eh. Diba? Kasi ang layo-layo naman ng, ang layo-layo naman ng, very, uh, the point is very low risk. Pwede nyo po paglaruan ito. Very good support already. We have RSI starting to go up already. So, the stock is gaining momentum. Constricted Bollinger Band, that's very good for RCB. Though, fundamentally, not a good company. So, please, follow strict cut loss guidelines dito sa RCB. If ever it fails lang, just cut your losses, okay? Um, Ani, kung wala kayong oras to trade, wag niyo po pipilitin mag-trade, okay? Mag, um, mag-investing lang muna kayo. Ani, we have a confirmation. I, I already recommended Ani yesterday after this right here and then umakyat siya ng konti yesterday and then bumalik naman so still overall very low risk pwede pa natin pasukin si Annie sorte natin it hindi pa siya lumilipad but the volume has spiked starting to, is starting to spike already so that's good for Annie still recommending Annie for today recommended it yesterday also and then lastly si Mer naman on the bounce right so kahapon nag breakout si Mer asa wala hindi nag sustain so most probably at MA20 it's gonna be bouncing um so, wait lang po tayo ng bounce ni Mer. Um, kahapon nga lang sayang, walang daily grind. Ang recommendation ko for Mer really is to wait, uh, try to bargain as much as possible near the support kasi ito yung support natin sa kanya. So, I hope that was un understandable yung recommendation ko. Um, hindi naman siya nag-sustain so dapat hindi natin ito napasok kasi pumula ng pumula. Alright, so we're waiting for bounce levels. Pag nag-bounce si Mer, that will be a good entry point. So, those are my recommendations for today. Hindi nga anong marami kasi karamihan ng mga stocks kahapon nag-pull back because of the market. Yan, ang laki nga ng, pa, um, ang, ng, de, uh, ng red new market yesterday. So, a moment please. Maingay na aso ko. Sorry about that. Ayan, so let's go to your requests now. Unahin natin si FB. Right, kasi si birthday boy nag-request ng FB. And si FB, right, so far so good. Alright, um, we're making a support right here. Right, so, yun nga lang eh, I really hate stocks na lumilipad ng ganito. Rem remember the last time I recommended FB. Right, kasi dito si FB, yes, meron siya support dito. I did not recommend that anymore kasi kakabreak niya lang ng MA20. So, and then may lower high pa tayo. So, I don't really like recommending stocks there. Um, these are the the positions that I really wanna rec recommend it, recommend it. In kaka break nyan lang po na MA20, so we're really not certain kung asan po punta siya if it's gonna show us a lower high or higher high. Uh, FB is too high for me as of the moment. I don't like to play stocks with stocks na nasa taas. Um, best if it pulls back and make a support makes a support around 90 Jen po i recommend ko yan but right now we're still at the top levels i don't want to recommend fb uh because of this next is ssi i could be wrong guys pwede pa yung umakyat yes totoo po yan it's just not it's just that it's against my system my trading system i don't like all time high positions kasi yun nga our basic philosophy sa stock market is really um uh, buy it cheap and an all time high meaning it's the most expensive it has become the past few, uh, for for all time diba so expensive siya right um ssi naman good job i'm um, nag fail mag break out and then nag pull back na so that's a sell signal right there so let's just wait for ssi to make a new support anytime soon ang ganda ng bounce na dito diba we talked about ssi here on this bounce right here Nakapag engulfing pattern pa nga siya. So, it was a good testing of the support. Congratulations sa mga, mga SSI. It's time to sell half at the very least. Alright, sell half kay SSI and then buy more on BPI. Kamustahin natin si BPI. Bakit magbabuy more kay BPI? Yes, definitely. Alright, so we are waiting for BPI alright, to bounce here. Pag nag-bounce si BPI, then definitely that will be a buy signal. Si BPI nag-fail na mag-breakout, di ba? Kaya, we always wait for the breakout. That's a confirmation na nanalo si bullish side ng stock. This time, it failed. It did not sustain the breakout and nag-fail siya. So, we'll wait for it at the support levels. Yeah, definitely buy more once um, BPI bounces. Next is VLL. Right, VLL, um, pangit ng market, bihinila siya pa baba, but sustain the bounce, uh, sustain the support. So, let's see what will happen Sa support right now, I don't want you to go aggressive on this stock. Wag muna, right? Especially with the current condition of the market. 
Right, so ATN nagpo-pullback. Let's see if we can get a bounce anytime soon. As of the moment, wala pa. So stay away lang muna kay ATN. Uh, GMA7, let me see if... Check mic. Ayan. So, ayan. Um, tatakpan mukha ko sa microphone. <laughs> right, sayang naman yung mukha ko. Hindi ko pa pakita sa inyo. Um, ATN, GMA7. May tanong about GMA7. GMA... Oops. GMA7 Ayun, um, GMA7 Constricted naman ang Bollinger Band uh, We'll wait for future movements But definitely this support is looking well Right? So, get in your support This is very low risk pa naman at, as of the moment So yeah, very low risk um, This is a good support for GMA Hopefully it, it's uh, magmaterialize at umangat sa GMA Right? Um, but right now, wala pa naman tayong signal. Aakyat ah, siya. It did trigger the Bollinger Band. So that's a bit, very good sign. So baka makita ka sa GMA. Yeah. Get in there to support. If you're into GMA, definitely that's an entry point. Maliit kasi ang risk. Hindi ko naman sinasabing aakyat ah, yan or hindi. It's just that your risk is low. So eh, it, it it's a good entry point. So, so, si X nag-fail ng support this time. So we have... But still, this is a, a healthier position right kasi kumpara dito we have a divergence pataas po ang RSI natin so yeah if ever it bounces pwede nyo testing this is a solid support 1 2 dalawang beses na nahit yung support na yan so maybe it will go green but wala pang green po so wag nyo po muna testing in x is uh, something for trading lang right trading lang po yan wala pong fundamentals yan we're into penny stocks there si green naman um Somehow, nagsusustain yung support. It's just that, kind of shaky pa rin ang support. Uh, tignan na lang natin in the future. If ever mag-green siya, that will be a good testing point ulit. Sa mga nakapag-testing lang, as long as the support is holding, okay pa naman kayo. So, hope for the best. Ganyan na naman yung trading. Dasal-dasal lang na magsustain ang support pag pinasok nyo. Right? So, hopefully it does. It, this is a good company. So, most probably it will. Right? Um, hindi lang tayo manghula, right? Kahit po napakaganda ng company. Uh, no one can predict the stock market movement, okay? So, always put that in mind. Well, if you like the company, if it's doing well, if it's cheap and it's have uh, the support, I mean, is forming a good support, then yeah, definitely, why not? Um, yun nga lang, yun, um, very volatile pa siya kasi as of the moment. I can't, we can't really tell what will happen, right? Masyado malayo pa yung Bollinger Bands niya. Very volatile position for now baka nagpahinga lang at magtuloy-tuloy sa downtrend eh. So, konting ingat lang. But there's a, that, that's a breakout level. So, it's a mix of sell and buy signal. Kasi, kaya ang hirap sabihin. So, green, you can test it out. So, if tama kayo, then that will be very good for you. Just in case mali naman kayo, at least we enter at a very low risk. Just cut your losses. losses. Right. Um, PA. Starting to trigger the lower Bollinger Band. So, this is I don't like it for PA, so I don't want to recommend PA as of the moment. And so, continue at lamuna kay PA. But we do have supports at this level. This is a very solid support right here. Meron, actually, this is a good support also. So, ah, hard to tell. Very hard to tell right now. We have a major support here. Um, pedyo pa baba pa yung MA20 niya. So, let's see if ever it stab stabilizes further. Right now, I don't want to recommend PA. Medyo shaky yung position niya. TA, I um, mean, si T naman, si TKC still. Alright, um, yun. Um, support is holding. But, pula po siya. So, I don't want to recommend that yet. Okay, T. Um, uh, konting yet lang muna. Let, let it move lang muna. I don't think it's gonna go up anytime soon. Alright, but the Bollinger Band is um, showing a stabilization naman kasi. Pag nag-stabilize yan, pwede, pwede nyo test by ng konti si T. Alright, oh, baka umakyat din eh. So, at least, um, if you wanna enter it, um, konti lang na amounts kasi pag nag-fail naman, at least maliit lang ang talo ninyo. Alright, so MAC naman, uh, I don't wanna recommend it yet. Very solid resistance right here. So, baka madali kayo ng resistance. So, I don't wanna recommend it there. Um, breakout should be okay for MAC, right? Pag nag-breakout, at least meron tayong base, if ever. But again, I don't like, uh, I don't like looking at these positions right here kasi medyo mataas. Right? Um, macro Asia. 
But definitely, and then dam- daming mga ganda development kay Mac. Eh. So breakout lang if ever gusto niyo talaga pumasok. That's a confirmation na bullish pa siya. Um, DEV, wala naman dev. Wala naman dev, di ba? So AEV, wala yan. AEV. Right. So AEV, mm-hmm. so far, so good. We recommended AEV here. Um, nasa support pa. Let it bounce as that support. Get in your support as much as you can for AEV. Uh, next kay EEV is BDO BDO and um, BDO hindi nag-sustain ang breakout um, hindi siya nakapag breakout so yun uh, I don't want to recommend it yet a breakout would be the best entry point for BDO either breakout or let it go back down to support actually gumawa siya ng support dito um, we missed that so breakout lang muna ang ambangan natin so BDO iwas lang muna not the best time to enter BDO Right now, uh, JFC, ito si JFC, may magandang volume, laki ng volume yesterday. So, this is a, this could be a good sign, right? Very good accumulation for JFC. Um, if gusto niyo pumabol, right? This just did the breakout. So, I think magsusustain naman ito. Maybe it will go up because of this volume for JFC. Can't really tell. I'm just holding my JFC right now. Again, guys, dito niyo sa baba, pinapasok dapat yan. Hindi na naghahabol kay dito. Para, para sa mga gusto maghabol, that's the best eto na yung binigay ng market sa atin eh kung gusto niyo pa maghabol so this will be your best entry point right so hopefully it sustains so JFC um, that's looking good um, especially with the volume si C naman kamustayin natin CLC uy nga pala oh, CLC uh, I did recommend CLC yesterday di ba nag recommend ako ng CLC yesterday here we have a higher low was that yesterday or earlier this week last week right meron tayong support kasi higher low so this is good for CLC Right now nga lang, medyo mataas na yung risk natin. Right, negative. This is negative 2.8 or negative 3% away from support. So, medyo high risk na. Maybe you can. Uh, maybe you can bargain for a bit. Lapitan nyo po sa support as much as you can for C. But definitely, this is looking well. We have good price action already for C. Right, kaya ni-recommend natin yan doon sa baba. Um, so, si C... Wag mo na ngayon or try to bargain as much as you can. Mer is in my recommendations for today. We've already talked about that. Um, AC and si Ayala Corporation. Yun. Nasa support na naman si AC. So let's see if ever mag sustain yung support. Pag nag bounce si AC, then definitely it's a buy. As of the moment, wag muna. Kasi wala pa tayong buy signal for AC. Um, iwas lang muna. Asan ako? MPI, IRC. IRC, kamasay natin si IRC. Ayun, um, IRC uh, still sustaining the support. Let's see if may bounce si IRC. Uh, pag nag-bounce yan, definitely that's gonna be a buy signal for IRC. Meron tayong divergence dito. Look at this price price action. Dito, dito, pa side. Pero RSI is already going up. Pag nag-green yan, definitely a buy for IRC. Uh, pwede nyo po testing a support. Pag nag-green kasi yan today, napakaliit po ng risk ninyo. You are kissing the support. So, super low risk po yan pag nag-green. So, you can test that out. Just in case mali, then you just cut your losses. Ganun lang. Alright? So, IRC, baka mag-bounce yan today. Um, tingnan nyo po. Hindi ko lang malagay sa list ko kasi, baka, kasi wala pang bounce. Right? Too aggressive if I put it on my list. Pwede ko ilagay. Sige, IRC. Mer and IRC. And... IRC on bounce. Right. So, I'm officially adding IRC on the bounce lang muna. Antayin nyo lang po yung bounce before you wanna get an IRC. Next is MPI. Yan. Si MPI naman, um, sadly, sadly, nag, um, bumagsak si uh, MPI because of the market. Um, Nag-bounce na naman kaagad sa pullback niya. Overall, MPI is still looking good. Uh, definitely, a stock for long term. Medyo natutulog lang siya ngayon. Um, just to be safe, um, the best entry point is the it's either MA20 or the uh, breakout right here. Um, nag-break ba siya ng cut loss yesterday? Hindi na naman niya na-hit yung cut loss. So, muntik na. Right, kahapon. Um, I usually cut my losses negative 3% below support. So, muntik niya na ma-hit yan. But I don't want to recommend selling it because I'm recommending MPI for long term actually. So, yeah, pwede po ito si MPI for long term. Very cheap overall, very stable company. So anytime soon, baka maket yan. PHA, we're talking. Oh, let's talk about PHA. And si PHA. Um. So this is the stabilization after the engulfing pattern. Meron naman tayong engulfing pattern dito. We're still stabilizing right now. So let's see if my green si PHA. That will be an a good uh, a good entry point. 
Pag nag-green yan, that is a divergence. So, mas maganda po yung entry na yan. Right? So, antayin lang natin yung green ni PHA. Pwede, na, pwede po natin itest yan pag nag-green. ATN, we talked about ATN already. Alco, right? it's 9.10. Time check. Uy, si Alco. Uy, after this engulfing pattern, we have a stabilization. Uy, meron pa ng support si Alco. Pag nag-green yan, doji lang kasi nangyari. Pag nag-green yan, pwede nyo pong pasukin si Alco. Pwede nyo po itest. That can be, that could be a good support right there. Um, but, I don't want to be aggressive in Alco. Right? Especially that we're seeing a lower lower highs right here. So, most probably, mag-downtrend pa siya. Uh, hard to tell. Hard to tell. Right? Conservative play. I want to be a conservative player on this lang muna. I don't want to be aggressive. Again, you don't have to be aggressive in this market. Antayin lang natin yung breakout from its downtrend. That will be a clear signal na tapos na yung downtrend ni Alco. So, antay lang. Right? Don't be aggressive in the market. Don't be too aggressive. <clears throat> MRC and si MRC and nagpo-pull back pa let's see uh, further down the road if we can enter MRC again ECP naman uh, si ECP nagpo-pull back pa um, malaki, medyo malaki yung sell off niya yesterday so let's see what will happen to PHE uh, na clip niya na MA20 so most probably that's a very good sign a confirmation of a reversal will be a higher low so hopefully we get a higher low for ECP but right now not yet Si Tel naman, nagpo-pullback pa. I'm waiting for Tel at MA20. Let's see if we can get a bounce anytime soon. Pag nag-bounce po, then that will be definitely a buy more position. PHA, SOC. Si SOC kahapon nag-sealing. Guys, I don't know bakit nag-sealing si SOC. Uh, clarifies new reports. Meron pong new reports si SOC. Tingnan po natin. What is up? Alright, so SLC clarification news article. Gentlemen, we write in response to your letter dated March 25, seeking clarification regarding the news article entitled Puyat Reyes Group expects sales of 8 billion on from three projects post in the Molina Standard. SLC resources, uh, Puyat Group says it's expected to generate 8 million sales. And so, said in an interview Friday that the sideline company's 25th listing anniversary. The Philippine Stock Exchange Company would soon launch new residential products. Oh, may magandang projects pala si SOC. Kaya pala. Right, so that's very good for SOC, but not good for position trade. We already missed that train, right? Dapat nalaman natin yung news na yun. <laughs> right? So, um, di, wala, wala lumabas na news eh. But anyways, because we missed that, we'll just wait for SOC. Uh, maybe it will give us a buy, buy, buy signal anytime soon. But right now, wag po, wag na wag po. Wag niyo po habulin yan dyan si SOC. Right? Um, ABG, um, papanoorin ko po yan sa si SOC. Baka may magandang price action. Sa si ABG naman, let's wait for ABG to make a bounce. Then pag nag-bounce yan, then definitely it will be a good entry point for ABG. Ngayon, wag muna. Si Tugs, um, pull back kay Tugs right after hitting the resistances. So, so far, so good. We have bullish price action right here. Pataas po yung buying natin. Buy, buy, buy. Yung selling naman natin, medyo shaky rin eh. So, just keep continue to buy buy on the dips. This is our support right now. Get in near that support as much as you can for Tugs. Definitely still very cheap for a good company si Tugs. Right, so Tugs, definitely. Right, pwede po natin pasukin yan. Um, Tugs, asan pa? Um, sino pa ba dito? Ani VLN talks. SMC. Right, so SMC. Same with SMC. Same with FB. I don't like playing with stocks and dito sa taas. So I don't want to recommend that yet. But we're seeing a support. If you want to be aggressive, and you can get in that if you want to. Remember, dito ko na recommend si SMC. Major pullbacks po dapat ang pinapasok natin. SMC. Let's see if it bounces at the support at continue. That will be the best entry point for SMC. Test natin yan. If ever it fails, then just get out, di ba? So, SMC, not yet. PIP naman still at the support right there. RSI still going up. So, this is still very good for uh, PIP. People are still accumulating. Guys, so what this tells you, what the chart is telling me is that wala na po nagbibenta ng mahal kay PIP. So, um, wala nang nagbibenta ng mura. Right? So, these are the prices already na available for SMC. Yung nga lang, wala pang buyer gaano. Yung mga buyers hindi pa aggressive. Yung nasa baba, palaging binibili bili nila. So, accumulation pa nakikita natin. This is good. Actually, RSI is still starting to go up. You can test buy this if you want to. Kasi baka pag bumutok to, lumipad. Sayang naman. Right? Yun nga lang, hindi natin alam kailan gagalaw yan. Um, PIP, chart is telling us na this is a solid support already. Yeah, definitely. You can test out uh, uh, PIP. Um, 
I can't promise you uh, gains kagad, right? But what the chart is telling us is good. So PIP, wala na po nang bebenta. So hopefully, um, pahabaan na na si Kimura yan. Sino matanalo at matatalo. Um, yung, kung yung mga holders maiinip at bebenta na lang nila, so syempre, babagsak yan. So, pero kung yung buyers naman maiinip at wala na silang mabili, baka umakyat din naman. So don't, we don't really know what will happen. Right? But for PIP, definitely, that's a good position right there. Very low risk overall. Si Vulcan naman, may nag -re request about Vulcan. VUL916. Um, we'll go through all the list as much as we can. Bibilisan ko lang po. Um, Vulcan, right? very good support for Vulcan already. Right here at this level. So let's see what will happen in the future pag nag-sustain yung support niya. Pwede po natin testing si Vulcan. But as the moment, wala pa. Ani is in my pick for today. PXP. Kamusta natin si PXP? Ayun, nag-fail nga si PXP. Sabi na nga ba eh. Right? So, yun. PXP. Stay away lang muna kay PXP. Massive sell-off. Massive sell-off pa kay PXP. Nag-fail nag yung support. So, stay away from PXP for now. Let's see in the future pag binigyan tayo ng position. But right now, wala po. Bcore, ayan si Bcore eto naman si Bcore maganda nag sustain your support, very low risk position as of the moment, pag na, may nakita yung green kay Bcore, definitely test that test that out, right, for Bcore um, VLL si VLL, we discussed about VLL already um, Fen, right, si Fen naman yes, ang ganda ng volume ni Fen, but guys um, out of position na po yan right, we talked about Fen at this support right here, then po natin pwede i-test yan uh, constricted Bollinger Band, when it triggered the upper Bollinger Band, alam na natin saan papunta to. So, si Fen, a recommendation ko kay Fen, wait for the pullback and bounce before you wanna get in Fen. So, stay away lang muna for now, medyo mataas pa yung risk. If ever momentum trader naman kayo, baka mag-momentum po yan at umakyat pa. But we can't really tell. If hindi nyo po alam paano mong momentum trade, wag na po. Um, Fen, sino yung susunod? Uh, B or VLL Fen, SMPH. Right, so SMPH, kamustay natin. S M P H S M P H. Yeah, so we just hit resistance, guys. M P H. Right, stay well, lang muna, guys. Uh, that's not the buy levels for S M P H. Lapit natin sa resistance. Um, get in a higher low as much as possible, or let it go back to the support. Anyways, yung market naman natin pulahan, so bakama hila yung S M P H. But this is definitely the, not worth our risk right now. Na pag pinasok natin yan. Um, napakalit ng risk to reward ratio natin maghanap lang kayo ng iba instead of there so don't worry, re-recommend ko naman yun si SMPH if ever we have a good we have a good position, eto maganda so SM, STI, very good guys right? very good pullback we have a solid support already for STI wala pa nga lang volume but this is a very low risk position already, overall STI is still very cheap, maganda naman yung earnings ni STI, we third quarter ang laki pala ng negative niya, hindi ko napansin to ah but anyways, yeah, uh, price action wise, this is good for STI. Kung gusto niyo po i-testing si STI, yeah, uh, pwede niyo po testing yan. Overall, napakamura niya pa rin, right? This is a good company actually, si STI, right? Um, you can test that out. Very stable naman yung position niya. Just in case it fails, just cut your losses. Holsim, HLCM, right, it's 919. HLCM is doing a pullback. Um, wait lang natin ang bounce niya before we wanna get in uh, wholesome right so ingat muna ISM si ISM um, after this engulfing pattern we have a three white soldier pattern that's also uh, that's a re reversal signal so still doing a pullback so y these are signals usually natapos na ang downtrend right engulfing pattern three white soldiers I did not recommend it yesterday cause uh, be even after the three white soldiers mataas na risk natin so uh, there it is it's doing a pullback Let's just wait for future price action. If magbounce as a support, then definitely that's an entry point for ISM. For now, wag muna EEI. And si EEI nagpo-pull back pa guys. So, let's wait for it to do a bounce. Stay away lang muna. ZHI naman si Zeus. And so, we're hitting a clear resistance kay Zeus. Not worth our risk. We have another resistance at this level. But definitely, it's uh, somehow it's still bullish right now. So, let it pull back lang muna. If we're out of position and si Zeus. Para, para pasukin. BHI, BHI, um, nagsusustain naman yung MA20. So, if you still wanna get in BHI, MA20 is the best entry point. I don't really wanna recommend this that much. Medyo mas taas na siya si BHI. 
um, let's see what will happen in the future. Maybe I, um, ano, testing nyo lang po kung gusto nyo po si BHI. Testing nyo po yung MA20 niya. Uh, hopefully, it goes up and sustains. LTG. Yan, si LTG naman, nagpo-pull back pa. These are Bollinger Band triggers. Let's see if ever this is uh, so far so good. Right? So, LTG, antayin lang natin yung future price action niya. As of the moment, huwag muna pumupulap eh. ABBA, ito si ABBA. Um, ayaw mag-load ni ABBA. Ayun. So, after the dividends, lower pa ng Bollinger Bands. We do have a support at this area. So, di pa natin alam kung ano mangyayari. Right? Let's see what will happen in the future. But right now, it's doing a red Bollinger Band trigger. So, you know that it's it might still go down. So, it, we're on the lower side pa yung sentiments niya. So, stay away lang muna kay ABBA. Definitely soon, if ever we get a, a good price uh, action in, in the lower part, I'll be recommending ABBA again. Alright, so ABBA, stay away lang muna. CEB. Ayan, si CEB naman. Uh, let's see if mag-sustain. Nag-break niya na yung MA20. So, meaning ito, yung downturn niya tapos na. We are now at the support levels. Let's see if may bounce. Pag nag-bounce yan today, definitely that's a good entry point for CEB. Lastly, si CHP. It's 9.21, guys. Uh, CHP, um, uptrend pa naman siya. Uh, use the MA20 as much as possible. This will be your support for CHP. Diyan po kayo pumasok lang malapit sa MA20 ni CHP. Right, so, yan lang muna for today. Pasensya na if hindi ko mababasa lahat, I need to visit my mom later this lunch break. So, magpe-prepare pa po ako. <laughs> um, again, itoro guys. Uh, huwag niyo po sasayangin yung opportunity for me to trade on your behalf. If ever wala pa kayong oras, uh, create an itoro account. Use my link po if you wanna create an itoro account. Use my link down at the video description because that's gonna help me in return. And then, pag nakagawa na po kayo ng account, search for my name, El Bazar. El Bazar po yung pangalan ko sa itoro. And then, you can copy me or you can copy other people Ang gandahan po nito, ako na po magtitrade para sa inyo. Wala na po kayong gagawin. All you did was put money under my name. Ako na po bahala dyan magtrade. Right? Sa gabi po ako nagtitrade ngayon. I'm aggressive in the international market. Medyo investor mode muna ako sa PSE since shaky naman yung volume. Right? So, ganun po ang ginagawa ko ngayon. Create an eToro account. Sayang po yung opportunity na international market. At ganda ng volume na international market. That's it for today. As always, I'll see you again tomorrow. Same time. Let's get rich together. Have a great day. Bye-bye.